Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Jennings, coming at ya on behalf of Nutribullet Time. And welcome to Nutribullet Time for another episode. You guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Nutribullet Lean. Um, and before we get into that, I just want to update you guys on my 30 day weight loss challenge. So, today my weight was 241. Point seven, And for those of you keeping score, I know I am, um, that means I've actually gained uh, 0.1 pounds. I've actually went up a, a tenth of a pound. And um, does that bother me? Uh, you know what? In the past, if I wanted to be honest, I would say you're damn right it bothers me because I'm working hard and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do and the scale's not going the right way. So you're damn right it bothers me. I know there's a mental game being played. I know that the real game to losing weight is in my mind. I also know if I keep doing what I'm doing and I stay on my current path, I will lose the weight I want to lose. The body fluctuates in pounds you know, 0.1 pound here, 0.3 pounds there, 0.5 pounds there. It's a game of inches, but it's also a mental game. There's a mental game that's happening, and I've lost that mental game quite a few times. So this ain't the first time I've tried to do something like this. As far as I'm concerned, um, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. It's structured. It, it's very, uh, it works for me. That's the best I can say. It really works for me. Um, and I feel good about it. You know, the point one weight gain, not really something that I'm going to let bother me as far as action goes. In my mind, I would be lying to you saying it, it doesn't bother me a little bit to see the scale going the wrong way. That's just human nature. It, it does bother me. But when I committed to this 30 day challenge. I knew sometimes the scale wasn't going to look the way I wanted it to look. I knew that. I mean, and I knew that going in, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to stay on course, and I'm going to bring you guys with me every single day, and we're going to get into it. We're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to watch this weight come off. That's the way it is. So anyways, all that being said, let's open this thing up. This is the Nutribullet Lean. Um, the Nutribullet Lean has 1,200 watts of power, you guys. Now, just for your point of reference, the original Nutribullet had 600 watts of power. Then they came out with the Nutribullet 900, and that had 900 watts of power. Then they came out with the Nutribullet RX, and the Nutribullet RX had 1,700 watts of power. This thing was super powerful. It was meant to compete with things like the Vitamix and the uh, like the like some of the Blendtex uh, really high-end blenders. It was meant to compete with those. I think the Nutribullet RX is great. I also think it has some flaws. Now this is the Nutribullet Lean, and it has 1,200 watts of power. So that is right in between the the um, the Nutribullet RX and the Nutribullet 900, as far as power is concerned. So let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. Here's the front of the box. Here's the side. Here's the back. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. You guys were with me yesterday when I bought this thing. It's got this. This is Nutribullet Lean Boost Plant Protein and Fiber Blend. It's organic, which is pretty cool. Let me hold that up so you guys can see it. Helps make you feel full. Each serving provides 11 grams of protein, good source of fiber, 2.5 grams prebiotic in inulin. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest with you. And it's no artificial ingredients. So this is a sample and it's got six servings in it. Kind of a protein supplement to add to your smoothies basically. Protein and protein and fiber supplement. Next thing I see when I pull this out is this little thing here, right here. So basically giving you a, a, a planner for a day. Boom, boom, boom. It's right on the back, it teaches you how to make a, a macro blast. Next thing I see is this, the uh, the, the age-old Nutribullet warranty. This gives you a one-year limited warranty. Now you guys, as far as I'm concerned, like the Nutribullet 600 and the Nutribullet 900 are famous for their blades wearing out, okay? Now the Nutribullet RX, not as much. I've never had to replace my Nutribullet RX blade. 
Uh, but my my 600 and my 900, the blades wear out. That's just the way it is. And then you got to order more blades. So definitely fill out your card. If you register online, you get an additional three months of extended warranty. Now they've always done that, and uh, and I know they honor it because I've I've gotten the extended warranty. They've sent me new blades lots of times. If you're in that 15 months, you gotta have any problems getting new blades or anything else for your neutral bullet. It's, you're gonna be good to go. All you're gonna have to do is pay shipping on it. It's pretty sweet. So make sure you fill out your warranty. Okay, let's pull this thing out. All right, I put the box on the floor. So when I pulled this out, something popped out here and it was this little thing right here. And a neutral bullet, every time I bought a neutral bullet, they've always been really good about uh, putting a book in there. And this is no exception. Neutral bullet lean, they put it, a decent thickness book in there um, and this is a seven day ooh seven day transformation plan that's pretty sweet I like that seven day transformation plan that's pretty cool man so the book is not just a recipe guide it's actually a seven day transformation plan and it's got a bunch of recipes in here and the recipes got op they got like options for each day this is a pretty sweet book, man. Pretty cool book. This might be one of the best neutral books I've gotten. The RX came with a hardback book, which was pretty sweet. Um, but I kind of like this uh, right here. It's a seven day transformation plan. It's pretty neat. Um, anyways, you guys, wouldn't it be cool if you got paid like a nickel for every time I said seven day transformation plan? What if we were doing a drinking game and every time I said seven day transformation plan, you had to take another drink? You'd probably be drunk by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the seven day transformation plan. I don't know what this is, man. Oh, this is uh, like to separate your food, I guess. This is a little divider. It says protein right here. It says greens and non-starchy vegetables. So you put this on your plate and you can actually divide up. This is actually pretty sweet, man. They put some thought into this. I might be using this thing. Anyways, cool. What's in the box? As you guys can see, it's packed pretty good. Got your standard Nutribullet cups. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering, are these compatible? Let's find out. Here's a standard Nutribullet uh, 600 right here. This is the original. I'm gonna go ahead and take the guard off. This is like a drinking guard, you guys. It's a nice little cake, nice little cover. This is cool. I've never seen this before. This is the cover for the blade. This is the cup for the Nutribullet Lean. So obviously these two things fit together. But the question is, does this new stuff fit on the old stuff? And the answer is, absolutely. Which means it also fits the Nutribullet 900. That blade is different. Here is the original Nutribullet. This is an old one actually. Here's an old Nutribullet blade for the 600 and for the 900 here is what the new lean blade looks like okay they're different there's a difference there okay so they have modified their blade um that's interesting but it still fits it's compatible with the old stuff so keep that in mind. You know what that means? That means you can use your pitchers for your 600 and for your 900 in the Nutribullet Lean. It's got more watts, it's got a different blade, okay? Another thing the blade has that's really cool is it's got this thing. So that means, and this thing has holes in it, has holes in it. So what that means is when you wash this thing out, when you wash this thing and you're done using it, you can put this case on it and put it away and it's got holes in it so it still dries out. It doesn't stay moist. That cover is awesome, man. I love that. I only see one blade. I only see one blade. We got cups. It's a lot like the 900 cup. It's got the colored, uh, it's got the colored things on the front of it. And what those do is, like that five says max liquid, four says freebies and boosts, three says proteins and fats, two says fruits, and starchy veggies, and then one says greens. They're, kind of, they're trying to make it easy for you to make a smoothie that's actually gonna help you, okay? That's pretty neat. They put a lot of thought in the Nutribullet Lean. I like it. You get two of these cups, they are the same size. And then also, you get this small cup. 
This is a small cup and it says one pot meals. Not sure exactly what that means. Maybe I'm a big dumb animal, but I don't know exactly what that means. It also has a max line on it. This is just your standard small little cup. Um, you've seen these before with the older Nutribullets. Comes with two spoons. They say Nutribullet on them. Pretty cool. This looks like a teaspoon. This looks like a tablespoon right here. Neither of them say teaspoon or tablespoon. I think that's a design fault personally. I think they should have put teaspoon and tablespoon on there personally. But they don't. Uh, lid. So flip top, right? You can take it to the gym with you. Pretty nice. Fits right on your cup, right? Watch your TV shows while you're drinking your smoothie. Thoughtful. Very thoughtful. They, we've seen this before. They've done this before on their other stuff. You got two lids. You can put your stuff in the fridge if you're not done with it and you wanna um, you want to uh, you know save it for later. So don't save it for too long though. Those smoothies, man. <laughs> they don't taste as good the next day. The last thing in the box is your Nutribullet Lean. Alright? This is 1200 watts. This is what it looks like. Let's compare it to what the 600 looks like. Okay? Very, very, very similar in design. This has the same footprint as the original Nutribullet. The only difference is this is twice as strong. It's twice as powerful. This 600 watts, this is 1200 watts. Huge difference in power, okay? Same size, huge difference in power. Now, the 900, the Nutribullet 900 is louder than the 600, okay? The Nutribullet RX is louder than the 900. So I'm guessing the Nutribullet Lean is gonna be a little louder than the 900, maybe not quite as loud as the, as the Nutribullet RX. Look, when I run my Nutribullet RX, my whole family leaves the room. They don't want to deal with it. It's too loud for them. <laughs> so I'm thinking this Nutribullet, um, this Nutribullet 1200, this Nutribullet Lean is going to be a little quieter than the RX, but probably a little louder than the 900. Um, my only question about the Nutribullet um, Lean is how long do these blades last? This blade looks differently designed than the other blades, but it's the same like mechanics, you know? Like the blades themselves are different, but the mechanics look the same, which tells me that at 1200 watts, with this design, I'm guessing these blades wear out. I'm not positive on that, I don't know. I'm guessing they do though. I'm just guessing. I'll find out. The more I know, the more I'll tell you. Anyways, that's it for the Nutribullet Lean unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, if you have liked it, please like, please share, please thumbs up this video, man. This channel is supported by your likes, by your shares. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace, everybody.